Hey guys, this is Aaron here with Double A Shaves. Back for another one. I'm excited for this morning's shave. Last night just got in PAA Clown Fruit. Really glad I picked this up because I missed out on it the past couple years. And man, I didn't know what to expect of this scent, but I actually really enjoy it. it it's exceeding my expectations. Oh, it's, it's really tough to describe. I know uh, IMCDB said it's kind of reminiscent of root beer. I kind of get that. Man, it's like, it's it's really nice though. Like it's, it does a good job of like reminding you of like Halloween in the fall somehow. And uh, it's, yeah, like I'm, what I'm picking up is like a little bit of fruit mixed with uh, almost like, like a talc, like almost like a powdery thing, like barber powder, like a powdery fruit scent. And uh, man, it's, it's beautiful. I really didn't know what to expect of the scent because I'd heard from YouTube videos that it's unusual, but I, man, I really love it. Man, Doug did a good job with this. Uh, I got the notes right here. We got some wormwood, oak, elderflower, absinthe, neroli, elderberry, amagris, burnt sugar, and tobacco. Yeah, I think what I'm picking up is the I'm picking up the, definitely picking up the elderberry, and there's something in there giving it like that fresh powdery vibe. I think it might be, I think it might kind of might be the oak or the, the neroli maybe, or tobacco, but man. And it's cool too, because I read the description of this on, on the PAA site, and uh, I think it's one of the ones where he ages the, the splash in an oak barrel for six weeks. Man, I love when he does that, you know, like how he did with Atomic Age Bay around. It smells so damn good. I'm not sure if any other artisans do that besides him. Uh, I saw one video on his channel of like the whole process of how he does it with Atomic Age and it's just so crazy. Man, real cool stuff. Yeah, um, and I think this is one of the ones where, you know, it came, came about through a lot of his experimentation with um, perfumery. He said he was like reading some old perfumery books and just experimenting with it and one day he just you know this scent came alive <sighs> yeah really glad I picked it up and some of the notes in here like the absinthe a lot of the notes are um, you know we're using history as like spiritual things like the absinthe is kind of connected to paranormal stuff I don't know too much about absinthe I know it's like a spirit um, I think at one point they thought it was like a dangerous hallucinogen or something but yeah like I said, don't know much about it. Um, and then the elderberry and uh, pagan traditions. Um, they thought it was used good for protection and produced vivid dreams, stuff like that. Yeah, real cool. Um, Doug, good job on clown fruit. Yeah, I already scooped a little bit of it for the bowl lather there. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I am gonna be using the matching splash. Let the face a little bit. I already had a little bit of water, but let me add some. Okay. Got it all. A ton of lather in there in my trusty black ship grooming bowl. You know, and I always say in all my videos, black ship grooming, if you haven't tried any of their uh, their products, it's made by a guy named Kelly Hogan out of Beaver, Pennsylvania. Real good stuff. Definitely recommend his soaps. Great scents. Yeah, this bowl has served me well for a while now. Oof, man, that brush is caked, man. Look at that. Just, wow. Yeah, let's do it. Round fruit CK6 formula. And I can tell the aftershave is going to be good because even just from having some of the soap. get on my fingers, you know, from scooping out for the bowl. Man, I got, like, I got that, like, fresh barbery, that fresh powdery scent on there, too, along with the fruit. And, man, like, I, I'm really impressed with the scent. Like, I really am, you know. It's like, because I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to expect. Mm. God damn, I'm glad I got this one. I knew I had to snag it quick. 
I think it's one of those ones that just isn't around for that long. Yeah, after watching the uh, IMCDB's review of this, I was kind of, I was a little bit nervous when he just, you know, when he said uh, he kind of got like a root beer vibe to it because, you know, I like gourmand, you know, I, I do, but I just, like a root beer scented soap though, I'm not, I'm not too sure if that would be like a winner for me, but man, like, this is like a, this is like a really complex scent. It's really neat. Oh yeah, just... This is so typical with CK6, I mean... The razor just glides, you know? CK1 is also good. I have a couple of his soaps in CK1. Uh, I have Cavendish. That was actually my first shave soap back in the day, along with Sterling Red Delicious. Uh, CK1, I also have Irish Springs. Uh, spring seasonal, I think it comes out around St. Patrick's Day. I do actually, it's supposed to smell like Irish Spring Bar Soap, and I actually like it more because he added in like a nice minty note to it. Oh, good job, Doug, with that. Yeah, yeah Garden of Bali, Girlfriend's Favorite Scent, CK1. Alright, good enough for the first pass. And then CK6, got Cider House 5. Got Atomic Pumpkin in, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Yeah, I had, I just had to pick up that one after. Oh man, it's so slick. Love CK6, man. Yeah, I just had to pick up Atomic Pumpkin after seeing a, a lot of YouTubers rave about it. John Shane, Shave326. When I first saw it, like on the website, before I watched any of the YouTube videos on it, I was like, oh, Atomic Pumpkin, like, I don't know. I don't know about that. I like Gourmands, but, like, I don't know about a pumpkin-scented uh, soap, because, you know, I thought it would just be, like, pumpkin pie. But, man, it's like, it's just a pumpkin bay rum, and it's beautiful. I love bay rum, and pumpkin is, like, the perfect addition to it. I swear to God, like, Doug is a Bay Rum, dude is a Bay Rum master, so good. Can't wait to use that one again. I feel like the aftershave on that has like a little less pumpkin flavor than the soap does, but it's, it's still all good. Yeah, the splash to me kind of smells like Atomic Age Bay Rum. But I love that. Nice, smooth Bay Rum. Yeah, Doug over at PAA does Bay Rums the best. Sterling has a nice Bay Rum too. They got a little more clove, they got clove in theirs. And now I got Clownford in the CK6, so, yeah, nice, uh, nice little collection of Phoenix soaps in the den, CK1, CK6. It's amazing how 
much easier CK6 and it's still louder. CK1 definitely takes time, it's pretty thirsty. Still a great bass. I mean, if you want to save, if you want to save a couple bucks on the bundle, you know, go for the CK1. But with the CK6, you get another ounce of soap and a better soap, so it's worth it in my opinion. Yeah, I saw he had a, I have notifications turned on the PA app. I saw that he released the uh, Sacre Blue again. I think at 1.2 years ago, he had it out and they discontinued it. It's an homage to uh, the classic Aqua Velva. I like Aqua Velva, you know? I'm definitely into the aquatic sense. So, yeah, I know <laughs> that's one of those like secret, like in app soaps. I know it's not going to be there for much longer. I'm debating on picking it up or not. I wish I had endless pockets, but I just, you know, you know how it is. All right. And CK6 just never lets you down. Yeah, pretty good. I'd say it's good enough. Good enough. Right, let's go ahead and rinse the face here. Curious to, to see how to see how this splash smells in here. Like I said, I do like his uh, his oak the splashes that he ages in uh, oak barrels. There was another one he did that with. I think it's a fall one. It might be blue sawin. Might be. I got a sample of that aftershave. Man, so talk about sweet. Like it smells like uh, pancakes at a, you know, at a, like an IHOP on a Saturday morning with the maple syrup. I like gourmands, you know, so it's beautiful. My girlfriend loved it. She's like, man, don't wear that. It's like gonna like take a bite out of you. It's like she says, uh, food sense. She's like, oh, food sense confused me. Like I don't know whether to like it or eat you or what, you know, what, but... <laughs> Oof, all right. Ah, uh, this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be nice. Yeah, and this one does have the, um, have the restrictor on it, so... I like the restrictor, because the first time I got one of his aftershaves without one, I poured out, like, a quarter of the bottle. I definitely learned my lesson. I think that's probably enough. Got it. It's tough to tell with the restrictor sometimes. Oh. God, fantastic scent. Yeah, now I'm picking up a little more of the uh, almost like juicy fruit gum type vibe, but also some of that oak and like the powderiness too. Really, really great scent. I would almost say it's like might be one everyone likes too, like a crowd pleaser almost. Yeah, I noticed this splash does, I think it might be because of the, the splash does burn a little more than other ones. It might be because, 
Yeah, I guess there's something in it that's causing that. It's not that bad. I mean, it's. I know in like a lot of the bay rum splashes though that happens, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. I kind of like that though. I kind of like that. A lot of people don't like the burn, but I I do like it. So. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Had a great shave today with Clown Fruit. Another no nick shave, CK6, happy about that. Um, yeah, if you don't, I think, yeah, Clown Fruit is still in stock, probably will be until, oh, I don't know, maybe until Thanksgiving, I'm not sure. But yeah, um, you know, if you guys are on the fence about it, I would definitely, definitely pull the trigger because it's it's quite gorgeous I, I do enjoy it a lot i can't wait to use it again um so yeah i hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend thank you for thank you for watching my shave and i will see you next time happy shaving